Hey, Jesus Squad, welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool Amazon here. And pretty much what this is, is a cold brew coffee maker. And then see for the one that we got right here from this brand. If you guys turn aside, they do probably have some specs and feature about the product. Same thing for our side right here as well. But here is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So when you guys first open up, let me see how inside is all well protected. But let's take it out. So when you guys do take it out, first thing inside right here, they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And the next thing inside right here, we do have the actual product. So let's do take it out. Once you guys do take it out, here's what the product looks like. So when you see in the front right here, they do price the measurement in terms of how much you want to add. So there's 100 milliliters to 900 milliliters, or there's four ounce to 32 ounce. The max fill line is right here where the lid is, but you probably don't want to fill it all the way up. Somewhere around here should be fine. And on the side right here, if you can see, they do give you guys a very nice little handle for you to carry around really easily if you guys do need to. And then here's what the bottom part looks like. Here is the top. So for the top part, if you guys want to open up the lid, you guys can pull it out. Take your time when you guys do it. Once you guys take it out, this is what the inside looks like. So inside right here, we do have the filter. And it actually has a very nice double seal right here, like I mentioned. But if you guys do open it up. Once you guys do take it out, this is what the inside looks like. So the way how they design this, it is different than your typical like French press machine or the French press coffee maker, where you guys have to push it down. This one way I don't do is just add it inside right there, close it back up, and just add the water inside. And when you guys do close it back up, you guys can put this back inside after you guys add the water inside, which is really easy and very convenient. And then obviously for this product, when you guys do use it, you guys are not only just limited to coffee. If you guys want to use your tea, feel free to do so. And if you guys look very carefully on the filter, it is filtered really nicely. This is so small that I hope you guys filter your coffee or tea leaf when you guys do put it inside. And when you guys do feel the materials on here, it does feel like a high quality stainless steel material. And supposedly the way how to design this part right here should be like a no spill design. So when you guys do pour it out, it should be pretty easy. And then turn to the glass that's on here, it should be a high quality glass that should be heat resistant. So when I do add hot water inside, it should be fine. And for this product, if it's your first time using it, you do want to make sure you guys wash everything first to make sure it's clean before you do use it. But that is everything that's on the product. Let me actually go wash this first and then we'll test it out to show you guys what actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here I do have the product. I just finished washing it not too long ago. And here we do have the other one from the same exact brand, which is Fend Press. So how this one works is that you guys want to bring it up. And when you guys bring it up, you guys push it down. So that way you can separate like the coffee bean or the tea leaf when you guys do use it. Where for this one, when you guys use it, you don't have to separate anything. They do have to filter inside. So what's happening right now, I'm waiting for the water to boil. And then we're add the water inside after we do add the tea leaf inside. So for this test, I am going to use the tea leaf instead of coffee. Because I do drink tea instead of coffee. So once it's finished boiling, then we're going to add it inside. All right, so the water is done. One right now is add some tea leaf inside. So just drop it in. So that should be enough. So what I'm doing now is add the water inside. So that should be good. Once you guys add the tea leaf inside or your coffee inside and the water, you have to close that up. So we see how when we do push it down, it did leak out a little bit. So that's why you guys don't want to add too much water. So what I want to do right now is pour a little bit out because it's too much. All right, so once it's done, what I'm gonna do is open it up. It's hard for me to use one hand, so I'm actually put down the camera and then try again. All right, so I was able to remove it. It definitely took me some time, but what I had to do is take out the first layer right here first, and then the next layer will come off by itself. So if I take it out right now, and see how it does work. So what I want to do right now is put this on one side, and that way you can pour it out, because when I do have it in, you guys can't pour it out. You can see how it's fully sealed. So if you guys do pour out the tea, If you see how well it does work, and the no spill design on here does work, but it's not perfect. If you see how it still can spill a little bit, so the product definitely does work. But if I had to compare this one to the French press option, I do like that one a lot more than this one. Because it's so much easier to pour that one out than this one, because this one you guys have to pour the whole entire thing out like this. But it does work when you guys do use it. It's an extra step for you to take off the cover when you guys do pour it out. Welcome right, back, guys. So now that it's a quick test of product, you definitely see actually does work and it works quite well. And see if in the test when I actually brew the tea, it's actually very easy. Literally all I need to do is add a tea leaf inside and just let it do its own thing after we do add the hot water inside. And you see when I actually add the hot water inside, it didn't break the glass or anything. Because it is a high quality heat resistant glass, so you should be fine. So for this product, if you guys want to make tea or coffee, whether it be hot tea or cold tea or hot coffee or cold coffee, 
that is totally up to you guys. It works in many different ways, but that is everything that's on the button. Now to unboxing and test the button. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality cold brew coffee maker that allow you guys to make coffee or tea, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.